GIS has given me the opportunity to do my own research and see the endless opportunities there that are available. We've got a fleet of drones that we can use for aerial mapping. We can use GIS, geographic information systems, to investigate spatial relationships between phenomena. Anything from agriculture, business, energy, health, you name it, and those skills are so versatile and quite frankly high paying positions. So the goal of my project is to understand active faults in the Priya Peninsula to see how we can better predict natural hazards like earthquakes. So eventually I see myself doing research that will help better understand natural hazards so that we can save people's lives. My career aspirations are to work in the legal field. GIS has given me the opportunity to not only better dig into the data process and how scientists make these decisions, but to better give me an understanding of how I can help play a part in the public policy world. Uh, GIS is in very high demand. A recent Bloomberg News article marks the global market for GIS at 21 billion in 2019 and by the year 2025 is projected to rise to about 31 billion. This is just the beginning of what we'll be able to identify and predict and analyze and I would be amazed to see where in 20 years we're at with this technology.